Get this thing off my screen, we don't have much time! What's up morons, my name's Windet, and welcome back to Dead Cells. The Castlevania update is just around the corner, and I need to show you something before it gets nerfed into the fucking ground. This build is 110% bonk! It's fast, heavy hitting, and makes use of the most underrated mechanic that Dead Cells has to offer. So why don't I show you how it works? Start up custom mode and disable everything except for this, this, then go to shields and select your two favorites. Enable all the good traps. No bombs. Except this one. And on this screen, just enable anything that isn't survival until you have exactly 20 items unlocked in total. If you weren't counting because your brain is too small and want to know why you need exactly 20 items, does this answer your question? In the event that you still can't make it to 20, just start enabling random shields and skills until you get there. All right, with that done, just press play and prepare for carnage. Welcome to the prisoner's quarters. Knowing you morons, you'll probably find yourself coming back here frequently. Not that I'm surprised. Time to choose a fitting outfit for today's adventures. Nothing screams hopeless quite like the default skin. Starting off, if you don't have these tubes here, don't worry. The only two things that matter are the bat and knife. We can figure the rest out as we go. The first thing you'll notice is that our throwable objects doesn't have have any ammo. We need to kill first before we can start using them, so let's go do that. Greetings. No. Bonk. All right, time to show you morons why this build is so strong. Starting with the simple mechanic called stun. Stun is a mechanic that stops enemies from moving for a short period of time. It works just like freezing, but it's much easier to pull off. You can use doors, ground slams, plant pots, grenades, heck, even hitting them enough times will stun. This shit is everywhere, so why is it so important? Well, it might have something to do with the fact that you can one-shot nearly every enemy in the game with it. Oh, hi there! No. So yeah, kinda broken. And yet for some reason, Motion Twin decided to approve a weapon that deals crit damage on stunned targets. Which on its own would be broken enough, but of course, it doesn't stop there. Because not only did they add a weapon that crits on the most underrated mechanic in the game, but they also added an instant cast projectile item that stuns on hits, made the bat attack faster when it crits, made the crits on the bat hit scan, making it the fastest melee weapon in the game, but they also made the whole thing in survival, because dealing insane damage clearly needed a bigger health bar and better mutations. Great! Now, to the game's credit, there are a few enemies out there that can't be stunned. Namely these two off the top of my head, and a couple of bosses, so it's not perfect. Just be a shame if I happen to route out an exact path to avoid all these things, wouldn't it? Oh hey, would you look at that? It's exactly where we're supposed to be going. Anyway, before you idiots drop down and make yourself look like a complete fool, hug the left wall and continue rolling until you reach this point. Then just head on through, jump and collect your free 500 gold or 250 if you get unlucky, and then continue on. Now if you're not bad, then you should have access to at least the 30 kill door. You get this thing if you manage to kill 30 enemies without taking a hit. Let's see what's inside. Most of this is kind of useless, but you know what? I'm gonna pick this one up instead. Hi, Collector. Sorry, I don't have anything for you. For this run, we're not going to be reforging anything because I don't trust you idiots not to waste all your money on rolling for affixes. For the mutations, we're just going to start with Armadillo Pack. Even if it wasn't my favorite mutation, I'd still ask you to get it as it's the smartest choice. Use the fountain if you're a little bitch and then proceed on to the Toxic Sewers. Welcome to the Toxic Sewers. Here you'll find rats that never leave you alone. Back off. Giant pools of infected liquid. These fucking explosive bats and these these bastards that crawl out of the fucking floor. The only enemies you don't have to worry about are these fuckers who do little else but provide you with free serotonin. Free? Oh, I found a challenge rift. All right, time to show this thing who's boss. Ow. Ow. Ah, fuck. Not even close, baby. From this point, just kill everything you see, roll for more dopamine, collect a bunch of scrolls prioritizing survival where you can, and aim to get 60 kills without taking a hit. That was close. Now, normally from here, I'd send you morons off to the corrupted prison to collect a free cursed chest and kill a bunch more enemies, but... Yeah, these guys don't stun. So instead, off to the ramparts. Well, here we are again. I hope you got the 60 kill, Laura, and didn't fuck up like I expected you to. Let's see what's in here. Wow, another shield. Do I even want this? I'm selling this. Hi again, collector. Sorry, I still don't have anything for you. Now, knowing you morons, you haven't been using any skills, but this next mutation is gonna change that. Heart of Ice lowers our cooldowns when we attack a stunned enemy. Given how that's literally all the time, I expect you to start making full use of whatever's in these two slots. Now, I might have gotten hit last stage, but you can bet your ass I'm not healing. Welcome to the ramparts. In case you hadn't noticed, there's giant pits leading towards death. Please don't fall in them. You already know what this build is capable of, so it's the same song and dance as before. Sadly, it looks like I was wrong about being able to make use of our skills on this stage, because most enemies here are dying before they can get stunned. So I suppose that was a miscalculation on my part. Just explore the map, kill all the enemies, prioritize survival, pick up a trap or two from the shop, and then head through to the Black Bridge. I hope you got the 60 kills again. Let's see what they have to offer. Wow, I am... 
really getting sick of this. Sorry, Collector, nothing to offer you this time. With only one mutation slot remaining, the last choice is fairly self-explanatory. Instinct of the Master of Arms, also named Instincto, gives us faster cooldowns for every crit we deal. If you want to see why that's so useful, just meet me on the bridge. Ready for a boss fight? Actually, that's not fair. He's more of a punching bag. Wow, I, uh, I actually feel kind of bad about that. Anywho, that was a boss fight. I wonder if I can use the forge to get rid of any of my cells. Sorry, Collector, nothing to give you. All right, from this point, you have three choices to make. Option one, the slumbering sanctuary. Option two, the stilt village. But if I'm honest, yeah, option three seems more like my pace. Welcome to the Fractured Shrines. Here you'll find a drop into the abyss, snake people with spears, traps on the floors, walls, and ceilings, a cursed chest hidden behind door number two, giant guardians protecting a treasure room full of legendary items, and birds. Start with the cursed chest, then make sure to avoid the birds. Be mindful of the traps littered everywhere, unless you want to use them to your advantage. <laughs> Kill the big dude guarding the legendary room. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, now I have to take it. As always, prioritize survival on your scrolls, and the rest of the level is just about trying to get to 60 kills. Ow. No. Fuck! Okay, never mind. From this point, you might want to head to the Undying Shores, but if I may make a suggestion, I'd recommend heading this way instead. You'll see what I mean later. Well, now I can't even continue the fucking bit. Sorry, Collector, nothing for you again. No mutations either. This is rather strange. Now, by all means, we could go to the Clock Tower, but if I may be so bold... What's this? Might I suggest an alternative? Welcome to the Forgotten Sepulchre. This place is not for the faint of heart. Ah, who am I kidding? This place is fine, as long as you're willing to ignore the darkness that's attempting to kill you. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah! Oh, ah. oh, no, you don't! Ah, get away from me! I found a door! Oh, what is this do? Very careful. Ah! No! Ah, fuck! Ow! Huh? Why? It's already done? Wow. Oh, off we go. Whew, that was hard. I hope you got the 60 kill door. Motherfucker! Move it or lose it, pals. I ain't got cells to give you. Remember. Heal if you're a bitch. Okay, a few things to note before the fight. Number one, she's fast. Number two, she doesn't stay stunned for long. And number three, I don't know, just beat the shit out of her, I guess. You'll be fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> And the fight's over, great. All right, well, we got the fight hitless. Let's see what the legendary item is. Is it better than my current one? Okay, I'm taking it. Sorry, Collector, I got nothing for you. Now here we have a few options. We could go to the derelict distillery, but honestly, that place is... <sighs> we could go to the Queen instead, but honestly, I feel like you guys need all the help you can get. Welcome to High Peak Castle. Here you'll find breakable ground, chests, a shop for later, enemies that take more than one hit, cheese, environmental hazards, three weird doors that lead to different mini bosses, keys, a couple of scrolls, and three locked doors that hide some goodies. Okay, nothing special. Once you've done all that, however, there's something you need to know. I told you before that there were a couple of enemies and a few bosses that couldn't be stunned. This is one of those times. Pick up a second trap from the store and prepare for a boss fight. This one, you can't just brute force your way through. This is it, the final fight. I hope you're ready.
that was needlessly graphic. Thanks for watching. If you like my stuff, then be sure to check out the other things that I've explained in Insults. And while I'm here, I might as well call out my idiot patrons. Here are the tier 1 douchebags, the tier 2 complete morons, and of course the tier 3 idiots who pledged 10 times the tier 2 amount. Granting them the gracious title of Mummy and Daddy. God, I hate you people. Please let this be a lesson that if you try to throw money at me, I will throw you under the bus. Now go click on one of these videos and get out of my hair.